turn any room into a collaboration space. This is Series 1 Board 65. The Google Meet Series 1 Board 65, developed in partnership with Avacore, is an all-in-one premium video conferencing device that transforms your meeting spaces. Just mount it on a wall or on a rolling stand and turn any space into a collaboration hub. You can bring video conferencing and whiteboarding to small or medium-sized offices or enhance large conference spaces with additional presentation or whiteboarding screens. Meet, whiteboard, collaborate, you can do it all on Board 65. Today, we're unboxing Series 1 Board 65 from Google and Avacore. Board 65 helps teams work together from any room, whether by having it fixed in one location or by rolling it from space to space for spontaneous meetings. To show you what I mean, let's open the box and get it set up. Board 65 is beautifully designed, even down to the packaging, which is organized to help you assemble in minutes. When you're ready to unbox, we recommend grabbing a teammate to help. Start by removing the locking tabs at the bottom of the box. This allows you to remove the top to reveal board 65, which can stay standing while you remove its protective plastic and determine where you want to place it. On the sides of board 65, you'll see two smaller boxes you can hold on to for later. One includes a quick start guide to help you get set up, and the other includes a power cable. Once you decide where Board 65 will be placed, you can purchase a wall mount or a rolling stand like the one we have here. Though any Visa compatible mount or stand will work, our wall mount is ultra thin and built to be more accessible. As for the rolling stand, it features easy assembly along with a five degree tilt for more comfortable riding. You'll want to assemble it first. It includes an adapter plate that attaches to the back of Board 65. Once the stand is assembled and the plate is attached, you and a teammate can lift board 65 and place it right onto the stand. Now you just have to grab what's left from the box, which includes separate packages for the camera, styluses, and cables. Open those boxes to finish assembling board 65. You can start with the camera, which easily mounts to the top of the display. Next, you'll have two passive styluses that attach right here on the soundbar. Finally, all the cables you need to get started are included. Plug in power and then connect to the internet via ethernet or Wi-Fi. If you need to connect a personal device, you can do so with the provided USB-C cable, or if your device doesn't have USB-C, you can use the provided HDMI and USB-A to C cables. That's it for assembly. Once board 65 is provisioned and registered, you're ready to go. You can turn it on to call into a meeting or to whiteboard with others virtually or in person. And if you've mounted onto a rolling stand, just unplug and roll it wherever you need to. Now that we're set up, let's spend some time looking more closely at the features of board 65. Starting with the 65 inch LCD display screen, ultra high definition resolution is built in to bring you crystal clear visuals. And since Board 65 is a responsive touchscreen, you can start meetings or whiteboards with just a tap. Or you can use voice activation by saying, hey Google. Capturing video is a 12 megapixel camera that supports 30 frames per second and electronic pan tilt and zoom. The wide field of view and built-in Google AI ensure that everyone in the room is clearly framed. For audio, Board 65 is equipped with a 12 mic array, stereo sound, dual bass ports, and Google's built-in tensor processing unit to accelerate machine learning workloads. You can find the integrated smart audio bar below the display screen. Just like with other Series 1 devices, Board 65 also supports True Voice Audio, Google's multi-channel noise cancellation technology. True Voice removes distracting sounds like keyboard typing while singling out and amplifying human voices so that they're heard clearly. The two passive styluses that come with Board 65 never need charging and are perfect for whiteboarding in meetings with the built-in Jamboard app. Of course, remember that you can also use your finger to whiteboard. Let's talk about the controls and ports on Board 65. On the back, you'll find controls for screen brightness, power, and BYOD, or bring your own device mode, which you can use to connect a personal device. Over here, you'll find ports for ethernet, HDMI out, and power. And then here, you have a headphone jack along with ports for HDMI in, 
USB-A for peripherals, and USB Type-C. Through HDMI or USB Type-C, you can connect a laptop to share wired content directly into a meeting. Or you can use the laptop in BYOD mode. Connecting your laptop can create an extended workspace, allowing you to utilize Board 65's touchscreen and other features while also operating your personal device. More than that, this allows you to use any meeting platform. So if you have to meet with someone that does not use Google Meet, just plug in and connect from your device while still getting to use Board 65's premium camera and audio. Those are some key features of Board 65. Remember, with the optional rolling stand, you can wheel it between rooms as you need or keep it in one place with the freedom to easily adjust placement. That's a wrap for Google Meet Series 1 Board 65 unboxing. Be sure to head over to meetingdevices.withgoogle.com for room design guides, deployment guides, and support.